Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brickazoid's Den. I apologize if I sound weird on the mic. I currently have a bit of a cold, so that's not great that I'm dealing with currently. So if I sound weird, that's why. But today, I wanted to talk about the DLC characters for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. They were recently confirmed slash like revealed confirmed. And now I want to talk about them, because originally this was supposed to be a Saturday ideas video after I did Lego Star Wars, or, or Rise of Skywalker movie, I would do a DLC characters, like, wishlist kind of thing. But considering this news has already dropped, I thought I would take a look at the confirmed news and compare them to my original list that I made way before this was already confirmed. So that's the plan for today. And, uh, yeah, we'll get going with it right now. So one thing I noticed with the confirmed DLC packs is that the character amount that you get per DLC pack uh, varies. It varies. Some have five, some have six, some have seven. So for mine, I kept them all as seven, so you're definitely going to see some differences, but there are also going to be some similarities in um, my ideas and what is actually going to be uh, included in the game. So we'll start off with Mando Season 1. So that, uh, we'll start off with the game stuff, which is April 5th, that comes out April 5th, I believe, which is when the game releases, and that will include Mando, of course, the Mandalorian, and Grogu, who is a non-playable character, and instead is what's called a companion character, so my guess is that Mando, when you play as Mando, Grogu will show up, and, Gro and you might be able to use, like, force abilities with Grogu. Then the next character is Grief Karga, Cara Dune, IG-11, and Queel, so that's uh, five characters there, kind of six, more like five and a half. And for my ideas, again, that was the game. For my ideas, I was thinking Mandalorian without his best scar armor. And then, of course, the Grogu companion character would be included there. Cara Dune, Grief Karga from Season 1, Queel, IG-11, Moff Gideon, and Miggs Mayfield. So, basically the same stuff here, minus the Moff Gideon and Miggs Mayfield. Because, I, again, I wanted to have seven characters per uh, character pack. And I also, I don't know, yeah, I also changed it to have Grief Karga be from, like, his Season 1 design. Although... I think considering it's called Mando Season 1, it's going to be for Mando Season 1, his design. Uh, and then, like I said, Cara Dune won't be anything different, and then Mando with no best car for Season 1. Now, I guess we'll move on. And then, like I said, Moff Gideon will be included in this pack, as well as Mix Mayfield. Uh, Moff Gideon is now included in the Mando Season 2 pack for the actual game, which I will get to now, where in the game, you're going to be getting Ahsoka Tano, Moff Gideon, Fennec Shand, Boba Fett, and Bo-Katan. So, not, not too much descriptions on what kind of versions we'll be getting of those characters, specifically Boba Fett. I don't know if it's going to be, it probably will be his Tusken Raider outfit, but I still don't know for, for sure. For my ideas, though, for Mando Season 2, I was thinking Mandalorian, the Mandalorian in his full-blown Beskar armor. And then Bo-Katan, Koska Reeves, because she was kind of a prominent character in the, in the actual show. Ahsoka, uh, Ahsoka Tano from the Mandalorian, that design, which we are getting in the game. Boba Fett as a Tusken Raider with his Tusken Raider robes and things like that. Fennec Shand, uh, which is going to be in the game as well. And then Cobb Vanth. Uh, I believe that was it there. Yep, that was it. So Cobb Vanth would also be included because he was, a, of course, a, a character in the uh, premiere of Season 2. So there's kind of some differences there. Not, not too, too many. I'll just have to see which kind of Boba it is, what kind of uh, Fennec it is, you know, the Ahsoka and everything. So very excited for this, this pack, actually. It sounds like a really good one, but I, I did want to obviously show my ideas as well so then for the bad batch pack that is just go i don't know actually when that's coming out i missed i didn't write that down in my notes here but i know the bad patch pack bad batch pack only includes five characters and that is the five members of the bad batch where we get hunter wrecker echo tech and crosshair i don't know if crosshair is going to have like his imperial outfit or if it will be from more like clone wars season uh seven where he has like his actual bad batch outfit we'll have to see when it comes to that but for my ideas for the Bad Batch pack, considering I included seven characters, I also included, of course, the five original Bad Batch characters. Crosshair, I think, would probably be in his Imperial form, just because this pack that I, that I um, have ideas for is actually based off of the, the Bad Batch show. And then I also included, of course, Omega in here. Very prominent character, of course, in the, sh in the show. And then I also threw in here Cad Bane because I don't remember if he was shown or not already to be, like, in the game, the base game already. But if he was, then I then I can just replace him with, like, Sid or something like that from the show. But either way, that is my, my Bad Batch ideas here. For the Rogue One pack, which comes out April 19th, I believe, that includes uh, Jen Erso, Cassian Andor, K2SO, Chirrut Imwe, Baze Malbus, Bodhi Rook, and Director Krennic. 
That is the exact same characters that I had on my list ideas when I was writing this out. Just have those seven characters included in this pack. So this, will, this is good because this is a bigger pack with seven characters. So that'll be good to have. Then we'll move right along to our classic characters. And I didn't really make any ideas for this one just because they've already been confirmed previously when the game, um, when, when, I, when I made this. So that was Luke, Leia, Han, Lando, and Darth Vader. And then also if you pre-order the game, you can, uh, I think digitally, if you pre- if you pre-order the game digitally, I can't talk, um, you get the classic Obi-Wan Kenobi, which would be cool. I'm definitely going to try and go for that one. Then we'll move on to Solo, which I'm not really excited for this pack, but that also comes out April 5th. And for this pack, it includes Han Solo, obviously from the film. Young Chewbacca, it says. I don't really know what the difference is going to be between regular Chewbacca and young Chewbacca, but we'll have to see. Young Lando, obviously the Donald Glover Lando. Uh, Kira, which is... Um, from the movie like she ended up being like the villain or something i forget tobias no no no. tobias beckett was so kira was was like the secret evil villain that was working with darth maul at the end i believe and then uh tobias beckett and enfys nest now for my ideas i said han solo of course from the film lando calrissian from the movie uh, i didn't include any chewbacca because i didn't really know how the differences would be but i also included kira tobias beckett uh and enfys nest but i also included dryden voss who was like the paul bettany villain character I believe the, like, actual supposed villain of the film. And then L337, which was the droid character that, uh, that Lando Calrissian was with, I believe. So I just thought, you know, none of my, my none of my, um, my, my packs here really included a droid character besides, I think, just the Rogue One pack. That was it, really. Oh, actually, I guess the Mando pack, so maybe I'm wrong here. But, uh, I thought I would include this droid character in here for the Rogue One, I mean, the Solo, um, uh, Solo pack here. And then for the final pack, it is the Trooper pack. And my original ideas were to have notable trooper characters, such as like Fives, Echo, Heavy, uh, maybe like Top or something, I don't know. Or, uh, Rex, I think, is already in the base game, and then uh, as well as Cody and characters like that. So I was thinking more like Clone Wars, notable clone characters, maybe even 99, that would be pretty cool. But it turns out that this trooper pack is actually just going to be regular stormtroopers and things like that. So it's going to include an Imperial Death Trooper, an Incinerator Trooper, a Range Trooper, Imperial Shore Trooper, and a Mimban Trooper. So, I don't know, kind of a little bit disappointing in my opinion, but that's that's fine, I guess. It's not going to be the biggest biggest uh, loss or anything like that. But, yes, there are my uh, DLC character ideas for this game. I'm definitely going to pre-order this one just to get those, those DLC packs. And I wonder if they're actually going to make more. I don't know. Uh, maybe they'll do, like, another season pass or something for some more packs based off of the shows. Like, of course, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi and things like that coming up. And then I also have another D, uh, DLC kind of related video that I will get out probably, let's see, uh, maybe like next Saturday, because I think this Saturday, stay tuned, is um, the Rise of Skywalker level ideas video. And then the next week I think is going to be the DLC pack, or the, the DLC thing that I have going on for next week. And then, yeah, I don't know, we got a lot going on with Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, I mean, it's less than a month so i am getting super excited super pumped to play this game and i hope you are too so if you enjoyed that video do the con youtube stuff like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later